we present Cliff, carrying location information in full frames into human pose and shape estimation. Given a single RGB image, 3D human pose and shape estimation aims to reconstruct human body meshes. Like most tasks in computer vision, there are two approaches, top-down and bottom-up. Currently, the top-down approach dominates this field. However, cropping, the first step in the top-down approach, discards location information from the very beginning, which is essential in estimating the global rotation in the original camera coordinate system with respect to the full image. Take this image as an example. After cropping, the cropped images look similar. When fed to CNN models, they will get close predictions. In fact, the three persons of interest have clearly different global rotations, which can be seen from the bird's eye view. Here's another example. The cropped images look different and will get different predictions, but their global rotations are the same. The same problem exists for other 2D evidences such as 2D key points. As a result, the 2D reprojection loss calculated in the cropped images is not a proper supervision. In another word, missing the location information introduces extra ambiguity. To fix this problem, we propose Cliff. We take HMR as the baseline and propose to make two modifications to build Cliff. First, Cliff takes more holistic features as input. Besides the encoded image feature, the additional bounding box information of the cropped region is also fed to the regressor. This information includes the center location relative to the full image center and the original size. We take the focal length as the denominator. Besides the effect of normalization, it also gives geometric meanings to the first two terms in the bounding box feature. Second, Cliff calculates the reprojection loss in the full image instead of the cropped one. Cliff predicts the human root translation in weak perspective projection parameters for the cropped image. Then we transform it to the perspective projection parameters for the full image. This transformation is formulated as the crop to full equation. Besides, we propose a pseudo-ground truth annotator based on Cliff. There are four steps in our pipeline. First, we pre-train the Cliff annotator on several datasets with ground truth SMPL parameters. Second, test the pre-trained model on the target dataset to predict SMPL parameters. Although these predictions may not be accurate, they can be an explicit prior to guide the optimization. Third, fine-tune the pre-trained model on the target dataset using ground truth 2D keypoints as weak supervision and the predicted SMPL parameters as regularization. Finally, test the updated model on the target dataset to get the final pseudo-ground truth. Here are the experiments and results. Cliff outperformed SOTA by significant margins on three popular benchmarks. With ResNet 50, Cliff beats its baseline HMIFT, reducing the errors by more than 13 mm. With HRNet W48, Cliff has better performance over previous state of the art. Here are the qualitative comparison. Cliff gets better pixel alignments when overlaid on original full images. Ablation study shows that it helps either to feed or to supervise the model with global location aware information. The pseudo ground truth annotator Cliff Plus also outperforms other methods by large margins. Here are some pseudo ground truth samples generated by Cliff Plus. The reconstructed meshes are pixel aligned to the image evidence. From the side view, we can see that they are also perceptually realistic. We show how to build Cliff based on HMR by making two modifications. We believe that the idea can also be applied to many other methods. To sum up, we reveal a fact that the global rotations cannot be accurately inferred when only using cropped images, which is ignored by previous methods, and propose Cliff to deal with this problem by feeding and supervising the model with global location-aware information. Based on Cliff, we propose a pseudo-ground truth annotator with strong priors to generate high-quality 3D annotations for in-the-wild images. Thanks for your attention.